Even my people, thank you for the uh, your patience. Now, the old man, Uncle Odin, has um, been doing a bit of business deals lately and the numbers are getting rather big. And I think it's time we go and interrupt him because he seems to be getting a bit excited with the numbers. So without any further to do, let's go and have a chat to the old man. No, I'm not going to sell my channel to you for $10 billion. If you think you can get me for $10 billion, mister, you better think higher. Ha! Ah. People, my people. Oh, you've just walked on me helping the family out. Trust me. Trust me. I'm worth a bit more than, than 10 bill. Trust me. What I am really worth is a, a last sample from uh, Uncle Craig, Bancroft Bay. This I've been sipping on, having just declined to $10 billion because I know I'm worth at least 20 to 30, as do you, people, my people. I'm going to celebrate with some, some of Uncle Craig's red gum honey from um, Bancroft Bay. Uncle Craig, we know no other kindness of his heart, sent me um, a couple of samples recently. And this is the last one. So, red gum honey. Um, red gum, for those of you who are not familiar with Australia, and I know you're living a poorer life for it, um, red gum is a river red gum, Eucalyptus camelgulensis, for those who are botanically inclined. It basically working great eucalypts who live um, beside rivers. Surprise, surprise, river red gum. Um, and a lot of Australian eucalypts have um, flowers that produce distinctive honeys. Um, there's We have yellow box and red gum honey and all of like that. And they've all got distinct flavors. Now, where Bancroft Bay is out in East Gippsland, um, it's Gippsland Lakes, it's very wet, a um, whole lot of winds out of Antarctica bump into southern part of the Australian Alps and lots of rain. So Uncle Craig has decided that the best way he can represent the area is to actually have this gin with a distinctly flavoured honey. So I'm not going to have the um, sound of happiness because I've already poured myself a celebratory bit, but we're certainly going to have the smell of happiness. And even on a cold winter's day like today, the smell of happiness says there's something distinct and unusual in this glass. I'm sipping this neat. Um, Uncle Craig says that you have it with a blood orange um, soda or something like that. A bit like that gin fizz I did a little while back. Um, now, the honey doesn't overpower it. It's like when I did the uh, Chinaman's um, Creek gin where all the um, spiciness and savory notes combined to sheer perfection. And this is very much like that. The honey is forward, but it's not overly sweet. This is not a sweet gin. Um, if anything, it's quite a savoury one. Yeah, I can definitely, uh, now I'm tasting yeah, the strawberry gum in here, and strawberry gum is another unique Australian botanical that the rest of the world can go, his boo, you don't get any. Um, and it adds a distinct, it's a distinct flavour at the back that is not unpleasant. This, like the other two, um, Shaving Point Gin and the uh, Chinaman's Creek Gin, is an example of what happens when you get someone who's really into his gins and decides to go out and make the best gin he can. And certainly Uncle Craig has done that. Um, this is the third of his gins. I know that he produces a liqueur because I looked up his website um, and I would be wishing to get my fingers under that this is just truly it's a great gin it's as simple as that um, the TLDR version is is that should I start waffling at you I will start waffling at you that this would have to be one of the best gins I have tried in quite a while um, and if you do anything and they have been paying attention in my introductions. Um, I've drunk a lot of gin in the last two years. I've worked my way through about 200 different gins from about uh, 50 plus um, distillers. So, dare I say it, when I say I think this gin is damn good, 
Um, trust me, my liver can tell you just how much um, has gone through me in order for me to make that opinion. Um, yeah, just exquisite gin. I've told Craig in the um, tasting notes, I've sent him that he should really give up his day job. A good gin, it does everything Craig says it does. It's a dry gin, the honey doesn't overpower it, the strawberry gum doesn't overpower it. Um, it's warm in the cockles of my heart because it's about 42-43%. And I think in a couple of months time when the predicted summer, which is going to be um, hell of a snake's ass and a frying pan breaks loose, this will um, make a uh, pain removing GNT or a pain removing gin fizz quite happily. So thank you very much people, my people. Hope you've been paying attention. Those um, numbers have been scrolling past. Decide, decipher the code and um, win merchandise. It's as simple as that. I'll see you next week. I don't know what I'm doing next week, people, my people. I'm looking up at my shelf and I'm seeing that um, there's a couple of, well, I'm looking at 10 gins that I can review and heaven knows which I'll get up to. Boredom is a wonderful thing. Thank you, people, my people. I'm sorry I didn't share any with you at this point today because this gin is just too good for me to share.